Hi there, Chris here. I have uh, one of these cool P.O. box doors, and they there's different versions of these. This is a two um, dial door, so you have to dial in the correct letters um, to open this. I have another one that is just a one dial, but you have to dial in three different uh, letters. And then there's a key version as well. Lock Mania just uh, uploaded a video. He has one, and it has uh, a key in the one, one dial with a key. And um, I got one of those, and I got it for a friend of mine and for a birthday present. And I tried to pick that thing, and I couldn't pick it. Um, now I only tried for about five minutes, but because I wanted it, I had just gotten it, and I wanted to get it over to him because it was on his birthday. So anyway, I couldn't pick it. Hats off to Lock Mania. He picked his, and it's not an easy lock to pick. The ones that have the the lock instead of the or the lock in the middle of the dial. So anyway, this one works. If I can remember. Um, let's see. I think it's A minus and well, where's potty when you need him? Um, oh, it's A plus and U minus. <laughs> this is what the back looks like. Um, this says Corbin, and over here it says. 85. No, I don't know if that's a year. Seems this seems older than 85, but maybe that's just a their model. So A plus and U minus. So beyond A, I would call this plus on the B, going towards B and U minus. Um, let's go all the way around. U minus, and that's it. That's the open. And they're very, they're very cool. You can see, once you open it, um, one of the gates springs out of the way, so it'll close, but you don't have to turn the dials to reset it. It kind of resets itself. So let's see which dial. It's this other dial. Am I showing this even? This is where the gate is. That's one gate is lined up. I'll we'll turn it in there. There's two, whoops. There's two gates. Maybe it wants to go this way. That's funny, it doesn't want to do it. There's a kind of a spring that I guess that's the reset. But you get it lined up and you get that little lever that goes into the gates. Anyway, I, I think these things are kind of cool. Um, I think we'll probably make a box for it so that it's sitting in a box and you put something in it. The other thing <clears throat> is I wanted to mention is my 100, 100th subscriber giveaway ends tomorrow, February 7th. Um, and it's going to end, you know, my time, Pacific Coast, United States Pacific Coast uh, time at noon. So I do have a bunch of people that are in. Um, if for some reason you haven't seen it uh, and entered, uh, it's my video. Go to my videos and it's number 99. And you have to be a subscriber, you have to like that number 99 video, and you have to choose a pick if you were gonna be on a desert island and you can only choose one pick, what would you pick? The, and the other thing is you have to be a fairly frequent commenter. <clears throat> I would, you know, I want this to go to people that are active in, um, the YouTube Luxport 
community and also, um, you know, visit my channel. So, uh, that's that. That's the reminder. Today's the 6th. Tomorrow is the 7th. And, um, yeah, that's it. So, uh, we will see you next time on this video. You know, hit the like button, make a comment. Uh, if you're new, just seeing this, subscribe. And um, I, I answer all the comments. Oh, <clears throat> people that are in my 100 subscriber giveaway have commented on that 90, the video number 99. And as they have commented and told me what pick they wanted um, and their subscribers, I have written their name down, and then that name, there's a number next to that name, and those numbers will get drawn, and somebody will win tomorrow. Um, so, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.